We are live. Okay, welcome. Glad to have you here. Welcome to an afternoon of technology, of discussion about cloud and cloud native deployments and data platforms, because uh, that's where all of the different presenters today fit together. We're going to hear from, of course, Couchbase. We're going to hear from Red Hat, from Google, and of course, from our host, Omeo. And the, the, the theme here, the common theme is managing data, managing information in a cloud setting where you have all of the complexities of managing a data platform, but now moving that to a cloud native environment. So what is the, what does that mean? We're gonna spend some time with different points of view. And what I think is important here is that for each of you that's here today and for those that are stuck on the SBON and we'll get here in a few minutes, the, the exciting thing is we all play different roles. Some of us develop, some are architects, some are business, some are project, some are product, but each of us plays a critical role because it does take a full effort to take an idea that someone has and turn it into actual productive problem solving software that is running for a business that is in a mission critical situation. It's, it's, tri it's non-trivial. And uh, I don't want anyone to lose sight of the fact that, you know, you might hear a talk today where you say, well, that wasn't so interesting. Well, guess what? For somebody, that is the most important part of the process. So let's recognize what we all contribute to this. And in terms of contribution, I also like to remind everyone that uh, here in this kind of a setting where we spend time together, where we take time out of our day to, to spend and, and learn something new, I also want to encourage everyone to also talk with each other during the break. We have a break after two talks, and then we have a break afterwards with some refreshments and some food. And take advantage of that time and ask the person sitting next to you, what part of this are you working on? How does this influence your professional work? How does it influence your, your trajectory or your plans? Super complex problems we're trying to solve, all of us. And as I said, the developer plays a critical role, but before that developer even starts making that code, there has to be an idea. There has to be some pain. We wanna solve it, we wanna solve it better, faster, in a more modern way, in a more long-term visionary way. That's why we're here, because this is the leading edge. Where does the data go? How is it being managed? How are we using the most modern capabilities, in this case, in the cloud, to do that? And I'm appreciative also, very appreciative of the team at Omeo, who have put together the space for us, the equipment, the video recording, and allowed us to use the facility. And bottom line also that uh, Subash is gonna tell you what he's been doing, which is not every day that customers are comfortable putting that out in front of an audience. So I personally am extremely grateful for what you're going to be doing a little bit later on. So a quick round of applause in advance for Omeo. As our, as our sponsor, as our, as our final, let's say keynote type speaker, but also again to the Google team, to the Red Hat team for being a part of, of this afternoon and helping to impart some information. So we're gonna go down the agenda in just a moment. Before we do, Andrea, come on up. I'm gonna hand off to Andrea Salamone, who's uh, one of the members of my team in the region here in, in Central Europe for, for Couchbase. And he's been working, well, for a lot of years, long before they were even Omeo. So why don't you tell us a few things and uh, then we can carry on with the program. So Andrea. All right. Thanks, Paul. All right, thanks everyone first for being here. Most of you that are here today have been invited either directly or in indirectly by me or Sebastian. And thanks Subash for you know, your help, Reiner as well, and all the speakers. So thanks uh, Juliana, thanks uh, Karsten, um, thanks uh, Subash again, and thanks Alex. So I actually wanted to only say, um, I mean, so for your information, today we are going to talk about, you know, the exciting journey that um, uh, Omio has had in the last few years using Couchbase, uh, but also um, being always um, at the forefront of innovation 
which is critical for people that work in the IT community. So I think this discussion, I don't want to spend too long talking about this because I'm very excited to hear the actual presentation that we are going to have. I just wanted to inform you that uh, a small part of us, I mean, not too small, but um, some of us are going to go after the event to B flat here in Berlin. I don't know if you know this place. It's very close to Alexanderplatz. There is going to be a jam session. There's a concert starting at nine. It's a jazz concert. I don't know how much you are into that, but anyway, we just are going to have some informal drinks. So if some of you would like to join us, you are more than welcome, and we would be happy to um, stay with you as well. So thank you. Yes, hello. Welcome, everybody. I'm happy to have you here today. And um, yeah, let's uh, talk a little bit about um, the topic next generation cloud native uh, platforms. This is a, this is a um, um, long term for uh, basically what's uh, um, yeah, this uh, day uh, is about um, talking about um, um, are the capabilities of, of cloud and how to help you in your day-to-day -day work um, to make things better and easier. Um, I want to uh, start to talk a little bit about Couchbase Capella, our uh, this year uh, launched cloud database as a service for Couchbase. Um, talk about some key concepts and architecture and how a migration, a move to the cloud could look like. I've done uh, this kind of discussion with customers. So uh, a couple of question, uh, question came up with that one. Um, of course, we should talk about uh, mobile app services and how we support that uh, from Capella, from the cloud, how this might look like. And um, yeah, maybe a little bit about security compliance uh, stuff um, that's uh, around our cloud offer here. Yeah, when talking uh, about data and talking about um, yeah, our customers, when, when, when I'm in, in, in talks with them, um, I think it depends a little bit of whom you ask, but uh, they all want to deliver great customer and user experiences. I think that's a, uh, that's uh, our day-to-day -day job as a developer, as a software architect. Um, in the end, our product goes there to some, some users, to some customers out there uh, in the field. They use uh, a platform, they use uh, uh, a mobile app, for instance. And yeah, they want to have good experience, they want to have speed. And yeah, um, for the developer, if I ask them, they say, okay, hey, okay, I want to deliver a good experience, but I need to uh, develop efficiently. I want to uh, develop agile. I want to be flexible um, writing things. I, I do not want to um, uh, twiddle around too much with uh, 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 new or proprietary programming languages, uh, but I can keep it around in my um, ecosystem. Yeah, and last but not least, deployment of an application is um, the third thing that's most important for administrators, for operators, and so on. And yeah, that way. And um, yeah, but that's all nice. And what we all often um, think that uh, the database here is a quite easy component of that application. I mean, it looks quite easy. Eh? If you think it, okay, I have my application, I have my functional requirements, I have my UI, which is absolutely top notch. And then, yeah, I need a database to store things there. And uh, here, this database and the underlying infrastructure, um, this is uh, something that we often forget when talking about application development, when thinking about features and functions, when thinking about um, user experience, we often forget that we have to store data, that we have to store it fast, um, and um, to choose the right platform to do so, uh, especially when it comes um, to the point that you need additional functionalities, be it um, uh, full text search capabilities, uh, being it enhanced analytics capabilities, and so on. 
Yeah, so uh, what we then find in the reality is often that uh, due to the fact that we do not often think about the database or in general the data layer of an application is that we have a collection of a lot of uh, tools for each and every kind of functionality. So uh, a good collection here which all needs to be um, yeah, orchestrated and operated um, and uh, yeah, in the end it's a costly thing to do the thing like that. Um, you have to think about uh, license agreements, about training for each and every product. Um, you need um, uh, to think about the infrastructure that you have to provide for each product and so on. So um, this can make um, this type of development very, very complex and uh, costly. So, and our approach to make this a little bit less complex, to make it a little bit less costly, is to provide here a more, let's say, platform-related approach, so that we do not only uh, deliver here the core database or only a memory cache or only a full-text search functionality, um, but more or less a broad platform, a broad toolbox for you as developers, as software architects, where you can take the functionality that you need for your um, product without having to change the platform using the same type of tools uh, and not logging onto this uh, um, uh, platform and then logging back uh, to another one and so on. So delivering a broad uh, set of functionality here um, that helps you to make your work faster, easier and more agile. Yeah, well, having said that, this is more or less a little bit of a, of a summary of that. So in the end, what can you achieve if you have a platform such uh, as Couchbase here, Capella from the cloud? Um, it's a fast infrastructure, so the tools are work together hand in hand. Uh, so you don't need to think about some, some data transfer. This is all done internally. You don't have to think about uh, uh, stuff like a separate uh, memory cache and so on. It's flexible. You uh, can uh, profit from the general NoSQL technology using JSON documents in your uh, object uh, structure in the application um, and uh, also profit from multi-cloud uh, strategy so that you can deploy the um, solution anywhere and add mobile and edge functionalities as well. And uh, yeah, uh, typically we support, and you know that already, this is uh, SQL as the query language as well as SQL um, uh, as the transactions, a cost-based optimization. So a lot of functionalities that helps you to optimize queries, to write fast code and keep the costs at an affordable low level. Yeah, so, um, and in the end, yeah, it helps you to innovate and uh, um, innovate faster and spend a lot of money here at that point. But um, not only from the broad of functionalities, we can help you to make things better. When thinking about traditional um, approaches that we find today in the field, we often have several steps in a process chain. This is a bit of, uh, super simplified here, but uh, I think the illustration explains what I mean. So you have different steps and typically we find often still that we have for each of these kind of processes a separate database, a separate um, um, uh, infrastructure as well. And um, yeah, then having the need, of course, if you want to do uh, a, a bigger and broader analytics picture is uh, uh, to uh, uh, get the data into um, uh, other analytics systems. And this makes it also um, a complex when uh, thinking of these kind of organization. And this is a typically grown infrastructure um, with uh, monolithic databases at these uh, type of points. And when you think about your more sophisticated real world process, there are so often the question, okay, do I get a 360 degree picture of my processes, of my customers? Can I get and consolidated data from the different applications? Do I get any KPIs in 
the right time, in the right quality? And uh, how can I and how complex is the consolidation of data and uh, aggregation of data from different uh, data sources? And you know that these kind of structures can become complex the more different data sources and databases you have to manage. So also here, the idea is to consolidate, consolidate data and aggregate data um, on a comprehensive data platform rather on single multiple um, um, uh, monolithic database uh, uh, platforms and systems uh, and rather using here the broad set of functionality again, thinking about again as a data layer platform rather than a simple database, because also the scalability of uh, Couchbase and Couchbase Capella allows you to collect the data from these kind of processes um, at a bigger scale. Yeah, when talking about Couchbase as a service, database as a service, our product Capella, um, we can offer you this type of platform as a fully managed service from different cloud providers, um, guarantee and deliver enterprise grade performance in these uh, cloud offers, as well as doing a, a really um, a great uh, or delivering a great uh, set of functionality to help you to develop your um, application much faster, having the right uh, type to scale out, to scale in, um, to deliver the performance that you need, no matter if it's ten thousands, hundreds, or million of customers that need to access the data layer here at that uh, at that uh, platform, and yeah, also deploy this on different clouds, multi-cluster, adding mobile functionalities. And of course, I will talk about that uh, in the end a little bit, of course, a set of security functionalities that is built around all that. <clears throat> so basically, when talking about Capella, we need to think about two types of um, functionalities that we offer here. Of course, we have here our database as a service, a fully managed database platform uh, that uh, yeah, can help you to uh, uh, do um, uh, calculations in real time to do uh, da data analytics in, in uh, real time. But also, and that's the second part of, of the Cap Cap Capella product, it's the app services for mobile applications. So this is something uh, that we have uh, long waited for to also be able to offer um, mobile services mobile app services from Couchbase that helps you to sync data from mobile devices into the cloud, which um, is, a, is a fantastic way to start offline first applications. So having a database on the mobile device, on the uh, iPhone, on the uh, Android phone or whatever mobile device you're using and to store data there and then syncing into the cloud, allowing a lot of use cases um, that um, can profit from this functionality, such as field service use cases, when you're going out there, uh, um, 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 healthcare use cases, and so on. So there's a, a broad set of use cases that you can think about um, that will solve that. So these are the two uh, functionalities, the, the database platform as is, uh, plus the app services for offline mobile applications. Yeah, uh, so what's around this? Um, when talking about Capella, um, it's a combination of um, things that you get with Capella. If you're going for a, a subscription, this will include, of course, um, some fee for the software uh, and functionality. This will be, of course, the operations part that we do for you. So spinning up clusters and so on, operating them. Uh, checking them for health, uh, taking care about security stuff, and so on, uh, plus the infrastructure costs. So this includes also the um, underlying infrastructure to keep the database alive. So that's a complete package that you would have using Capella. Yeah, and you see, and, 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 and I think this is more or less a bit of an illustration. We don't need to get into each and every point. Um, the thing is that uh, a lot of responsibilities that you have 
with an on-premise self-managed um, uh, database cl uh, cluster uh, to take care about that they are automated and done by Capella itself. So there's only um, a, a rest of functionality there are rest of, uh, of responsibilities that you would have uh, to take care as a, as a customer about. But um, these are simple things that you might want to control yourself as well. Yeah, let's talk about the concepts and architecture a little bit so that you understand how we do this. And uh, basically, we can split Couchbase Capella into two different planes. The one is a control plane, the other one is the data plane. While the control plane is a multi tenant web application where you log on with your Couchbase Capella account. And from there, you can create in the data plane several database clusters on different clouds even. So in the control pane, you log on, can say, hey, come on, let me spin up a cluster here on AWS. Let me spin up a cluster on Google Cloud, and so on. And um, also to orchestrate uh, replication between these databases and having a control which services you want to use in the particular cloud um, at what size, so what, what uh, type and number of nodes you want to have. And uh, this makes it very, very uh, comfortable to spin up a database cluster for your use here at that point. So that's basically the starting point here, um, logging on to a control plane and creating in the data plane your database cluster. So this is done totally automatically. You just say, hey, I take a, a, a database cluster here. I want to have three data nodes, want to have uh, two index query nodes. And this is easily spin up within minutes, and then you can start working with that cluster, filling in data, and so on. Yeah. So we can uh, see this here from the uh, yeah UI perspective here. So there's basically a dashboard, um, and you can then create the different uh, customer projects here in the data plane. Um, putting this in the uh, different data centers uh, in the different regions also uh, can create geo redundancy with this type of, of concept text and so on. Uh, but always thinking about this central type of uh, point of administration. So no matter if you have this worldwide deployed, you see a list of all the clusters that you have running within the control plane. So this is really, really easy done. You don't need to take a care about who, where and uh, how big a cluster is. So that makes it very easy going through this control plane then. <clears throat> a good thing is that we keep the transparency about, uh, about the underlying infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do not name it serverless. We're working on this kind of uh, technology also um, yeah, giving you, let's say, a more abstract layer, just using it as a service. But for the time being, we offer you really the transparency here to see um, what node types, what um, memory size, and so on the nodes are using, um, which also, of course, reflects the cost for this infrastructure. Yeah. So this is very, very easy to see. So you can still uh, have the control over that. Um, and this is um, good because not one size fits all, depending on your use case. There might be use cases where you want to have huge nodes and only a small number of them, but you might have use cases where you have really, really lots of um, operations per second, where you more have smaller nodes, but much more of them, and you can uh, choose so this type of infrastructure you want to have, depending on how your use case, how your project requires it. Yeah, as you see, we support this um, all over the globe. So it's uh, not only available here in uh, the European region, we have uh, uh, built this offer here um, at the different cloud providers and they have a broad infrastructure here. So typically, I've not seen a customer that we could not uh, help to uh, build a uh, um, uh, a Capella uh, implementation 
uh, in their own region. Surrounding that uh, infrastructure, if you have multiple um, clouds distributed among the globe, um, you can replicate data between them using our uh, cross data center geo-replication service that helps to shift your data from one location to another. Um, and of course, with the app services, it allows you to have um, uh, data at the local device and syncing it over into the database. So also for these kind of low latency use cases or peer-to-peer -peer syncing use cases, um, we offer the right technology here at that point. Uh, so for a lot of customers, this was a decision criteria for choosing Couchbase to building these e, um, geo um, distributed types of architectures. Yeah, um, but replication can do more, can also be used um, if you're thinking about moving to the cloud. Typically, you start from a self-managed um, uh, implementation, may it be on-premises or may it be uh, in a cloud infrastructure already, uh, and you spin up a cluster in Couchbase Capella and you want to replicate data, you can still do this, doing this from on-premises or as well from uh, self-managed manage and can do this for one time, just doing an import of data to shifting the data from your previous um, implementation into the cloud. But you want to keep it maybe um, on a long term and say, okay, I want to have both um, implementation at the same time. There are use cases that require this so that you have part of the implementation still um, on premises and another part in the cloud. Then you can just keep the data replicated between these two different implementations. Yeah, let me uh, come to some points when thinking about moving to the cloud. And I had uh, discussions with customers and it's typically, it's an, it's an easy stuff from the couch perspective, uh, perspective to say, okay, I shift the cluster into the cloud, putting the data up there or even keep it replicated. That's an easy stuff to do, but it's not the database alone. Typically we come into grown infrastructure. So we have here maybe some things like, uh, um, a, a couch-based cluster on-premises, um, web services that using this for, let's say, some B2C or B2B use cases, and maybe we have some Java applications that do uh, get data from some relational databases that we still have on-premise for internal systems, ERP, CRM, whatever. And uh, so this is how this looks like. And um, yeah, good benefits is, of course, if I have everything at one place, I have low latency for read and writes, great stuff, but the risks, okay, I need to do anything on my own, infrastructure, training, knowledge uh, keeping, and so on. And um, so the idea is, okay, hey, let's put Couchbase into the cloud. I have, I have customers say, hey, come on, we're putting the database into the cloud. Okay, good question is, hey, what about latency? Is that fast enough for the amount of data that you have there that you need to shift into the cloud and read from the cloud? And the answer often is, hmm, yeah, um, maybe we have here some, some uh, latency issue at that point. So that the next logical step would be, okay, hey, let's put all the services and applications that are communicating with the uh, cloud-based database here also in the same um, region um, where the data plane of the Couchbase uh, implementation is. That works at that point. Question is, what's with the legacy databases that we still have on premise and maybe sometimes do not get into the cloud? Also this um, the type of um, scenario we have there. So what can we do there at that point? I can only say you need to do testing. <laughs> That's something um, that uh, is, uh, yeah, uh, something that's often forgot when putting these things into the cloud because these ideas come mostly, of course, uh, from the management. They say, hey, cool, hey, we want to get rid of all of these uh, operational issues and uh, uh, putting everything in the cloud, but everything little remains everything. And that's not possible in any cases. Yeah. So, um, so that's a discussion we often have here. And, 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 and the question is, can the relational database and the business uh, systems be moved to? And often this is not the case. So you need to be taking care of uh, the 
um, latency stuff at that point. Yeah, let's talk about mobile. Let's talk about mobile app services in Couchbase Capella. So um, the idea is here to go uh, and use what we have since 2014, Couchbase Lite, um, and use the same technology as well for uh, Capella. So what we offer here is um, the capability to set up app services in the cloud, setting up here a control plane UI as well for app services for setting up uh, SYN gateways for controlling this process, um, uh, configure the security and so on. And I think the biggest benefits is that we um, now have really um, a way that uh, helps you to keep this stuff also operated and do not taking care about everything on your own, keeping these gateways up, keeping them running. And um, yeah, there's also spun up in uh, within a minute so it's a really really um, fast stuff so you just configure it from the control plane saying hi i want to have uh, some uh, application access points for my mobile applications that you will then use from within your mobile applications to connect to and um, to do to start the sync process uh, between the couchbase cluster and the app services. So functionality wise, I would say what Sync Gateway does today, the app services in um, Capella in our cloud product here. Yeah, and uh, it enables you of course to cover a lot of use cases, these kinds of uh, mobile applications. And lots of you uh, already are using mobile applications, not all of you, but things like field service, where you have to do uh, uh, reports, where you have to uh, do maintenance checks and so on, go through checklists, and maybe you do not have the right network connectivity. Hey, and all of us know that when we have a mobile phone, we have use an application, and we do not have a network connectivity. Isn't that suck? Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. And um, I've, uh, some weeks ago, a discussion with a customer who um, did some transportation services. Um, and uh, they say, hey, I want to send over a schedule and I want to be able that my drivers are able to, do, to look in this schedule. But guess what? They're always hanging around in these parking lots, in these garages, uh, and so on. So they do, do not have always connectivity. I cannot work with a general web service. I need something that works offline. And that's um, what uh, yeah, Couchbase Lite and the syncing uh, gateways and the app services help you uh, to implement. And you might think about a lot of other use cases. I have just listed a few ideas here, um, but of course, um, there are many, many more. Technically, um, this is uh, organized the way that you have a Capella cluster in the cloud that you set up the app services for this cluster that are connected to this cluster. This is all done from the control plane and um, the edge devices such as smartphones, tablets and so on are um, syncing via the internet using the app services endpoints. They can also do syncing in between, between these devices. So this is a functionality that we um, have provided for a long time and now you can also use this with capella from the cloud yeah um couchbase light who haven't worked with that uh, yes it helps you of course to do uh, things easier and faster and supports a variety of uh, programming languages that you uh, can use um, to, to develop here. So we have a couple of SDKs. So you um, bind and put the database and roll it out with your application on the mobile device and uh, can then store data locally to synchronize it then later into the cloud. That's basically how it works technically. Uh, and this all to have some more speed in development, to have uh, support low latency use cases where you do not have always um, network connectivity and to have a reliable synchronization process as so anyone who tries to develop this it's a it's a hard thing to do and of course 
um, taking care about which data should be synchronized from and to the mobile device. Oh, sorry. Um, so uh, for uh, re uh, regulatory compliance, for instance, thinking about GDPR and things like that. Yeah, so this is the complete picture may maybe from all what I've uh, been talking about. So the central component still is the cluster. You have the app services to work with the mobile end devices. You still have the typical um, web service type of application that are used by web clients. Um, there might be a VPC peering, uh, of course, possible between the data plane VPC and the web application VPC, which makes it um, easier to bring these things together. We have replication to other clouds, huh? XDCR, and all over the control plane helps to keep everything um, in an overview and control it and um, administer it. So that's the big picture of all the functions in one place. Yeah, talking a little bit of security. So there is, uh, uh, it's, it's really uh, hard and uh, important stuff um, that we uh, want to he have here. So um, we verify, of course, our security measures that we have within Capella. Um, we have, of course, best practices in place um, how to um, operate Capella. So things like a least privilege, not every cloud engineer has the same permissions to um, access there into the cloud. And of course, we do um, the platform monitoring, we do intrusion tests, all of these um, types here. Um, so there are a lot of measures that we have here. We're taking care about infrastructure security. Um, we are taking care about network security. Access through control and data plane uh, is one thing. And of course, data security is an important thing to encrypt and secure data in transit as well as in REST, including stuff like field level encryption, doing backups and restore of sensitive data. Uh, threat detection, logging, alerting, and so on. So there's a lot of things that we're doing. And we're also working on achieving um, yeah, certifications about that, things like uh, SOC, like HIPAA, uh, and so on. So um, we have there also a white paper that explains everything about the security measures that we have here. And yeah, we're working also, working also on, some, uh, on some more um, uh, certification regards security here at that point. Yeah, that's basically it from my side. Hope I could give you some overview about Couchbase Capella, about how we do database as a service. And yeah, so I would say, let's go to the next point. I think it's, uh, yeah, the cloud infrastructure from Google, right? Yeah. Good.